Hello, this is Dale Martins, and today I'm going to show you how to use profile member path inferencing in the plugin Profile Builder 2. Now, this feature is also called PMPI for short. Firstly, I'm going to load a profile using the new Profile Browser tool. I'm going to select the 612 HIP profile, which is specifically designed for a 612 roof. And a new feature as well in Profile Builder 2 is that it will actually save the placement points and offsets and other properties with the profile when you save it. So the next thing I'm going to do is choose the roof caps material to apply to this profile. So that I'll already have the correct material applied. Right click to finish. And as I do the next one, I'm going to use PMPI to temporarily hide another profile member. So all I have to do is I need to just hover the mouse over that previous um, object that I created, press the control button, and then click the point that I want. Just makes it easier to click the right point. I'm going to continue on to finish this off. Again, hovering over, pressing the control button, and finishing. I'll show you what's going on here. I'm going to hide the roof geometry. I just did a shortcut key there. And uh, I'm going to load the 612 ridge now. So I'll show you what's happening with PMPI. It's actually temporarily replacing the uh, profile member with the path that was used to create it. So here I'm going to use PMPI again. And you can see it actually replaces the profile member with the path temporarily. So now you can inference to that intersection point. I do it again there. Click those two points. And then the profile members reappear after you're done. Now in this case I forgot to choose the material before I created it. So I'm going to go back and do that one more time. And unhide with a shortcut key. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.